Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a penetration test with this Radical uh, AR-15. This has a seven and a half inch barrel. Uh, the barrel actually stops right here. Everything from here to here is, is basically a, a blast diverter um, because otherwise this gun is insanely loud uh, and, and really not pleasurable to shoot. So if you're gonna have a short barrel like this, you have to have a a blast diverter or, or what they call a linear compensator. So this is a seven and a half inch barrel um, on the Radical AR-15 and I've talked about this gun before. Um, first I wanted to do just a uh, an accuracy test and I've tested this before. At a hundred yards um, I shot basically a six inch group okay uh, which is pretty average and this wasn't like I really wasn't trying that hard I could see that you know, I was like my red dot moved a little bit when I shot it. So I'm using the Anatoball red dot on this. Um, if I discount this shot over here, I have a five inch group because um, I'm pretty sure I threw that shot. So this rifle with the seven and a half inch barrel is going to group at, you know, you're going to get somewhere between five MOA to six MOA with it. Okay. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if it would penetrate this steel rim at the 100 yards okay uh, now at the muzzle this has 650 foot pounds of energy uh, as I have measured it which is basically a high level 357 or you know like a hot 357 or a warm 44 magnum okay so so you know this is a pistol in terms of power uh, and I'm shooting it with the Remington 223 so I'm not using green tips or anything like that so uh, what I want to know is at a hundred yards, would this is this effective? I can see that, yeah, I can hit my target, I can get you know somewhere between a, a five to six inch group, but um, will the bullets, you know, like if somebody has let's say a uh, um, a, a jacket and they got like you know a magazine pouch on front of them, and let's say it's hitting like you know the, the you know the, the magazines um, and it's deflecting off the bullets, will will it penetrate? So at a hundred yards. Um, I did a, I did, I shot about a total of 12 shots here, and uh, most of them penetrated. All right, you can hold this close to you guys, so you can see most of them have penetration. Okay, some of them are like kind of like just barely penetrating. Some of them, there is a few that did not penetrate. So I got like, there is, let me see, let me count these. There's one, two, three, four, five, five that clearly penetrated. And then there's a few that like hit the edge over here. So clearly, you know, that kind of bent it in. And there's like one over here where it hit where it overlaps. So clearly, you know, because you're double you're doubling up on the steel over here, that's not gonna penetrate it. Um so I'm I'm getting decent penetration. Uh not everything is gonna go through, like that one right there where it hit it right on the curve, that didn't penetrate. Uh it looks like the bullet twisted and it went in that way. Um so a hundred yards is kind of the limit of the seven and a half inch barrel as far as you know penetrating light armor okay um, um and and the reason why i was interested in this is because you know with a um you know with a 16 inch barrel um you know i've actually been able to penetrate these steel rims you know all the way out you know past 200 yards all the way out to 250 yards uh but that's what a what a standard length barrel so you know, when you go from, with a 16 inch barrel, when you go from um, the muzzle, right? The muzzle, we have about tw about 1,200 foot pounds on a 16 inch barrel. At 100 yards, we've already dropped to 800 foot pounds, okay? So, so there's a significant drop there. So with this seven and a half inch barrel, which has 650 foot pounds, um, I haven't been able to measure it, but I'm estimating that 100 yards, we're probably down to about 300 you know, 300 foot pounds of energy, uh, maybe 350 tops, right? 350 foot pounds of energy, which is pretty much the same thing as a nine millimeter. And I know that when I shoot these steel rims, just that 30 yards over there, the nine millimeter basically just bounces right off of it. It pretty much takes, just maybe takes the paint off of it. Um, it definitely, it, it, it almost never even dents it, okay? Uh, the 40, the, uh, the uh, 45 ACP maybe dents it sometimes, but nine, nine millimeter just, just takes the paint off of this, off of these steel rims at 30 yards. So I was wondering at 100 yards, 
where this has the same energy, the same calculated energy more or less as a 9mm, um, if it would do the same thing, if it would just be bouncing off of this and just like leaving little scratches. Uh, and clearly, um, even though this has the same energy or about the same energy at 100 yards, clearly this is getting penetration or, or even where it's not penetrating, it's, it's getting really, really deep in there. Okay, um, so what that tells me is that the, the bolt construction really makes a big difference. The, the um, you know, the um, 223, you know, is obviously longer um, and it's, you know, it's 22% of an inch. So, every, so the force of the impact is concentrated on a more narrow area. And apparently that's, that's making a pretty big difference here. Okay, because I'm, I'm getting, in some cases, I'm getting really nice penetration. In fact, I can see on the back here on a few of them, it came through and it actually hit the back and I can see some, there's a dent over there. Uh, you know, I, I can see there's, there's dents and some marks on the back of this rim as it actually is coming through. So in the cases where it came through, it has some good power to actually hit the back side of this. So um, this is definitely a 100 yard right, uh, pistol, AR or SBR, however you want to call this, uh, or uh, AR pistol. Definitely good for 100 yards. Uh, definitely happy with the six, six inch grouping that I get with this and, and, and pretty happy with the level of penetration that I get with, with Remington 223. Um, obviously if I was using green tips I would get even better penetration. Um, so so that's, that's where it is. Uh, this is what this will do at 100 yards. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, for, for a seven and a half inch barrel, you know, I think that's pretty decent. So if you guys got any thoughts, any different ideas, any different opinions, please post them in the comment section. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.